I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my subscribers and viewers for taking keen interest in my videos on square roots, especially working out square roots without calculator for any number. Now in this particular video, we are trying to figure out the square root of perfect squares. What we really need to know is square of first 10 numbers right so at least this much you should know to find square root of any perfect square so i have a list here one square is one two is four three is nine four sixteen five twenty five six thirty six seven forty nine eight sixty four nine eighty one and ten hundred correct what you notice here is that the last digit is kind of being repeated twice so we do have last digit 1 for two different numbers, 1 and 9, right? So we have last digit 1 for two different numbers, 1 and 9. You'll notice that 1 plus 9 is 10, correct? We also have the last digit number for 4 when the numbers are 2 and 8. And what is 2 plus 8? That is also 10. Do you see that? So there is a pattern. The last digit 9 happens to be for 7 and 3. And 7 plus 3 is also 10. Similarly, we do have 6 repeated. And 6 is repeated for 4 and 6, whose sum is also 10. So that is also a neat way of remembering the last digits, right? We know last digit for 1 is 1, 2 is 4, 3 is 9. If you know 9, then you know the next number is 3 plus 7. 7 last digit is also 9. So that is kind of important to remember. And that's why I am emphasizing on it so much. Okay. Now whenever we are going to find square root of these numbers we are going to always do it in two digits that is what the idea is for the given video it can be extended to three digits four digits whatever but we limit ourselves to just two digit numbers let me share the process with you and then we'll formulate formalize the rules so first step is to group your number into two groups for example, we have a number here, 57, 76. Two groups, first group will always be from left of two digits, right? So first group will be of two digits from the right, kind of like this. That is your first group of two digits. Now, once you've done that, you know this is set of two groups. First group is two digits, 76. The other group is 57, 49, the other group is 18. Like this, we have, there are two groups for any number. Now, last two digits or the ones and the tens digit actually decide units place. So we'll first decide units place. This really depends on the last two digits. In fact, the last number, right? So. So last number here, for example, is 6. Now, where do you see 6 at the end? 6 times 6 is 36. 6 plus 4 is 10. And 4 squared is 16. So there are two possible numbers here for 6 as the last digit, once place. So in this case, we have two options for 6. One is the number 4. 4 squared is 16 and the number 6. So we get one of our numbers which is the ones place number. Now we have to figure out what number should get into the tens place. So let's decide. We are left with 57. Now we have to look for square of a number which is just below 57. So that is 7, right? 7 squared is 49, 8 is 64. So below is 7. So this number is 7. So we get our tens place number as 7. Now we have to make a decision. 
should we take 4 or 6? Is it 74 square or 76 square? How do we decide that? Well, to decide that, what we do is, we multiply this 7 by the next number, which is 8. 7 times 8 is 56. Now, the given number here is 57, more than 56, so we take higher number which becomes 6 and so we get our answer as 76 correct that is how we get our answer 76 so let us repeat this process now let's take the next number 49 9 comes at the end of 3 3 square is 9 3 plus 7 49 so we have two options here that is 3 and 7 now we have to look into the left group which is 18. Now 18, 4 square is 16, 5 is 25, so I know it is 4. So my tens place is fixed, 4. Now should I take 3 or 7? It really depends on 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. This number 18 is less than 20, so we will take the lesser number. Lesser number is 3. So our answer is, I mean, 43, right? 43 is the square root of 1849. You can always use the calculator, check the result. Okay, so let's do one more. So let me take a, let me take a bigger number. Okay, this time 15129. Now 29, last digit is 9. So we have two options for 9. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 49 so one of these two how about 151 151 is between 144 and 169 we should not go over under is 12 so this number is 12 for us now the thing is should I take 3 or 7 how do we decide well to decide I have to do 12 times 13 right 12 times 13, 12 times 3 is 36, so 3, 156. Now the given number is 151, which is lower than 156, so we'll take the smaller number, and our answer will be 123. So 123 square is indeed 15129. You get an idea. So what you can do is, you can test the others yourself. Let's take one more, okay, the last one this time. Let's take a small number, 89. So the last digit is 9, options are 3 square and 7 square, right? So that gives me possible combination for 1's place. Left is 2. So 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4. So obviously I have to take 1. So I 10's place is 1. But should I select 3 or 7? How do I decide? I will multiply 1 by 2, I get 2, this is critical, which is equal to. So if it is equal to or greater than, then we have to take higher. So higher number is 7 and therefore answer for this is 17. You get an idea, correct? So with this, we have worked out all the possible combinations. So it could be less than, it could be greater than equal to, or it could be greater than. Depending on that product, we decide which number will come on the ones place. Perfect. You can pause the video, check the square roots for other numbers, write your own numbers, and then figure it out. Okay. So another one, which is final last, before we move into the next video, where we are going to do cube root and the fifth root, right? Okay, so let's work with, uh, let's say, 96. 6 is the last digit. That means we have option of 4 and 4 plus 6 is 10. So there are two options. As far as the first number is concerned, we know 3 square is 9. If I go 4, it goes over. I have to take a number under. So under is 3. Now, which to take? 4 or 6? I have to do 3 times 4, right? 3 times 4 is 12. It is exactly same. So, I'll take the higher number. You get an idea, right? So, our answer in this case is 36. So, that is how you can actually 
get the square root of perfect squares. The only thing you have to remember is very simple. You know them, right? Squares of first 10 numbers, so simple. And now the method is clear. The last digit is decided between the two, upper and lower. And how do we decide it? Once we know the ones, the tens place, multiply that by the higher number and then check whether the number is lower or higher. Higher or equal to, right? So, if, like we saw here, if it is same, then we take the higher number. If it is, the number is higher, we take the higher number. If the number is lower, we take the lower number as in this case. I hope the process is absolutely clear. Feel free to share my videos and if you like and subscribe, that will be great. Also watch the other videos where we are telling you about similar strategy to find the cube root and the fifth root, right? So hope it works fine with you. Thank you and all the best.